Hi guys, Impact's was here today, I'm bringing you another Call of Duty video. This one is going to be doing my Arsenal predictions and review for the March and the rest of the season. And you can obviously work out what, what bit is which, based on the d time and date I'm uploading this. But before we get into it, if you notice how the score in the bottom left of it, yes we joined late. Well, me and my mate, uh, we went into the game late and we still did very well, well I did very well so that's why I it started in around about 8 or 9 kills, can't remember what one but anyway we'll get into the review first of the games from March right, I, I predicted um, like we played a game against Swansea, Arsenal beat Swansea at the Emirates on the 2nd of March, I predicted that to be 3-0 Arsenal and I said in the video that it's a bit optimistic because we're not scoring many goals at that particular time in the um, in that time in the world really uh, we actually in reality we lost it 2-1 it was just not good it was just really not good but what can you do really if your team stop performing for a month or no, one and a half months what can you really do um, we then played on the 5th against Tottenham at White Hart Lane I said that to be a 1-0 margin to us but that was not the case again we actually ended up drawing it 2-0 luckily drawing it 2-0 I should say because we was 1-0 up uh, we got a red card who knows where we would have went if we didn't get a red card but they did get two goals back really quickly but we did end up pulling one back and making it to a piece and getting the one point which is uh, very very important one point it would even be in a, it was more important to get the three because if we lost the previous week to Swansea but yeah anyway uh, we then played on the eight on the FA Cup round five replay I want to say against Hull City um, I predicted that to be 2-0 uh, we was away we was at Hull City Stadium whatever it's called I can't remember but we I predicted that to be a 2-0 win we actually won it 4-0 which was fantastic to see because we haven't really won many games the last couple of months so to win 4-0 well that's only whole but at least we actually won a game and then um, on the sixth no on the 13th sorry because we did get through onto the the next round of the FA Cup I said Arsenal will win at the Emirates 2-0 to Watford again that was not the case we actually lost 2-1 for the second time at the Emirates that season uh, absolutely shocking game but what can you do um, after that we played on the 16th of March against Barcelona at the Camp Nou um, I predicted that to be a 4-0 realistic result and I went for optimism result of Arsenal 2-0 with a whip 5-4 win on penalties. Neither of them happened. Barcelona beat us 3-1. We had an alright game, not as good as we did in the first leg. But we just lost all the, uh, lost it all. They scored first because of a defensive mistake. Then we actually equalised in the second half, I think. With El Nani's first goal for the club. segment swap there, a good thing I didn't say anything it was fantastic to see El Nani score his first goal of the club especially in the Champions League shame we couldn't go through but yes we did end up crashing out of that league uh, that league? that Champions uh, League obviously before that we did also crash out of the FA Cup as well which I did not mention I mentioned the game but I didn't mention we fell out of the cup anyway we will continue the final game of the month on the 19th we played Everton at the Emirates, I predicted that to be 2-1 two, no, two, to Arsenal, it actually ended up actually no, we weren't at the Emirates, sorry, I just read it the wrong way around, we was actually at Everton, we was playing away, I predicted it to be 2-1 to us, we actually ended up winning, winning that 2-0 which wasn't a bad result against Everton to be fair, especially the week before that Everton beat Chelsea 2-0 in the FA Cup with Romelu Lukaku performing absolutely amazing against his former club but we did come out with a win and we did back up three points right let's get into the predictions normally I would only predict one month but considering May the month of May has two games in it I'm predicting them as well and before we do get into the predictions I will um, review the result we already done in April 
because it's currently the seventh, maybe. That's the sixth. Sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday the sixth. Uh, we played a game on the second of April against Watford in the Premier League. Obviously, we played them in the FA Cup last month, and we lost to them two one at the Emirates. We then played them at Watford, I think. So we was away, and we won four nil. Obviously, I can't say what I predicted because I didn't predict anything because we didn't obviously do this video a couple of weeks ago, which I really should have. Uh, but yeah, we did win that 4-0, which is uh, another fantastic result, to be fair, and it's in the Premier League, so we needed that. Title race, we, are, we can only just be slightly counted as being in it, depending on how any other team perform. We've, out of the top three, us, Tottenham and Leicester, obviously being in, being in the order of Leicester, Tottenham, us. We have got a game in hand over them two, but we are 11 points behind Leicester and 6 points, no, 7, 4, sorry. Four points behind Tottenham. So if we win our game in hand, we'll be one point behind Tottenham and eight behind Leicester. So Leicester will have to, Leicester can still win the league by the 24th of April if they don't. They can lose a minimum of two games, no, a maximum, sorry, of two games. If they lose three, then it is possible for Tottenham or us to win the league. I think. But anyway. Uh, we go into a game in three days against West Ham, that is on a Saturday, I believe. Maybe, maybe a Saturday, maybe a Sunday, the 9th. Thursday the 7th, Friday the 8th, Saturday the 9th, yeah, there we go, Saturday. We play West Ham away, so we go all the way to West Ham, and I predicted that to be a 3-1 win to Arsenal. If you remember, hang on, back in the next segment. Well, yeah, we are back. And if you do remember to start of the season, the first game, West Ham did beat us at the Emirates 2 0. Start of the season, what can you really do on the start of the game of the season? Ours alternate, alternates, we either win it or we lose it. Obviously, that's obviously pretty much the whole thing. But we lost it against Aston Villa one year, then we obviously won it the next year, then we lost it again. So, first game of the season is always a bit alternating. Uh, on the 17th, we do go into a game against Crystal Palace at the Emirates. I predicted that to be a 3 0 win because Crystal Palace, we did beat them 2 1, I believe, at the start in the first, I think it was our third game of the season, which was pretty good because they did beat, I know Chelsea wasn't performing at the start, neither was we, to be honest. But well, Crystal Palace did beat Chelsea the, on the second week 2 1, but then we beat them the following week. So it was a good result to see us beating them. Hopefully we can beat them again, but we're at home this time, so I do believe in the squad. Obviously, I'm always going to believe in them because I support them. On the 21st of April, we go into a game against West Bromwich, Albion. I'm predicting that to be a 2-1. That is actually our game in hand. We were meant to play that on the 12th of March, but because we went through in the FA Cup, we played Watford on the 13th. So that is our game in hand. We don't get a rest for a week. Every other, every other team in the Premier League do, besides the West Brom. So, yeah. Well, the majority of the teams, anyway, get a rest. I think it's had to be a 2-1, I just think we'll be able to do it. It's, it's close to the end of the season, we're going to give it all we can, just to attempt to win the league. That's if Leicester doesn't look clear to be winning it. Uh, we go into the game on the 24th against Sunderland away. I put it out to be a 4-1, because Sunderland, we always seem to do well against Sunderland. But Sunderland aren't having a good season once again. They should get relegated, and hopefully we'll help them get relegated. Because I don't want to see them in the league anymore because they're so annoying. <laughs> anyway, on the final game of April, bang on the 30th, last day of April, we do play Norwich at home. If you remember to the away season, the away season, the away game, we actually drew one all. Sanchez got injured in that game, but we're actually home. I predicted it to be a 1 0, and I have no clue why. But hopefully it'll be a fantastic game and we actually could pull through the win. And then on the two final predictions, we go into May on the 7th, actually it's nice the 8th, it's been changed the Man City game, because it will be on Sky Sports. We play Manchester City away, so we're going to the Essie Dad, home as he. We won 2-1 at home, I'm predicting another 2-1 here. I don't feel like they'll feel like they're going into it properly, so yeah, that will be fantastic. And the final game of the season on the 15th, we play Aston Villa at the Emirates and I predicted a big fat 6-0. We always play well in the last game of the season. Can we do it again? We'll find out in uh, about a month and a half. Or a month and a bit of... Not for seven or eight days. So that's the predictions and the review done. It should be going out later today, which is a Wednesday. And 
my control is about to run out of batteries, so the commentary may potentially stop unless I put it on charge quickly. Use the pace. Oh, I did put it on. There we go, it's on charge. No, it's not, it's not working. There you go, it's on charge now. So we shouldn't really run out. Anyway, in that first game where you saw an Exodus, Exodus, um, we joined late, like I said at the start of the video, and we did actually end up, or I actually ended up going 39 and 7. This game, I get exactly the same amount of kills, but I do get some more deaths, so I think I have 10 deaths at the end of this one. Might as well spoil it for you, because it's not really a series, so... Oh, hiccups, it's not good. Give me three seconds. Alright, anyway, hopefully they're gone now. Anyway, we are back into the final segment of the video once again, and Season 2, like I've talked about, I'm going to talk about a little bit more of my Road to Prestige, will come in about a week, hopefully. It will start in a week, maybe. I'm going to upload, like, I said in a couple of episodes ago on the uh, a review of a DC show, that like DC, like, the Flash is going on break, so I think that, uh, Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow is as well. I was wrong. Legends of Tomorrow and the Flash are on break, but Arrow isn't. I don't know why Arrow isn't. But Arrow will be on tonight for Americans, so I'll be watching that in the morning before I go to school for an extra GCSE. And then when I come home, I record a video and I'll plonk it up that same day. So the app, there will be an arrow view, and if you're wondering why I died there, it's because I thought the Tempest Lightning, or Tempest Electric, would go over quicker, but it didn't. I should have shot again, but I didn't. So I messed myself over there, got myself an extra death. But yeah, in a few in a few videos time, I've got a really exciting game. Let's just say, I started off 15 and 5, and ended with 40 extra kills than deaths. No, sorry. Confirmed Let's just say... I was started off 15 and 5, I I stayed on 5 deaths for the whole game and ended on 50 more kills than I did have deaths. So you can work that out. For some reason that took me a while to say and put it into... I was thinking all the different ways I could have put it, so I put it that way instead, because that's the way I started to say it. But anyway, in the description to this video you will find a link to my Facebook, Twitter and Twitch. I need to stop putting Facebook there because I haven't used it in a long time. I just don't ever put it on Facebook anymore. Twitter is where it is all the time. As soon as a video goes public on my channel, a few minutes later, at the maximum, a tweet would automatically be sent out. So the video is up. So, follow me on Twitter and you'll get live updates of when I'm actually uh, uploaded, a video has been uploaded, and when I stream as well. So, yeah. Hope this video ends quickly because I really need to go to the toilet. Not like you needed to know that, but it just had to be said. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this video. It wasn't the best for kills, but we did get two 39 bombs, which ended us on 78 kills and 17 deaths overall. I'm just kind of a bit mental here with uh, the Tempest messing around with it. Don't have a clue why. Sometimes I do well with it, I think it was in the last game I did absolutely horrific, no it was in this game, I did horrific with it earlier over by the barrel next to my right, but if you did enjoy this video leave a like and I'll see you in the next one, see you later.